Hey guys, it's James. And by the title of this video, you probably know or have an idea of what I'm about to say. Like After going live so many times and having to delete comments off of my Instagram, direct messages, and my YouTube videos, I am done not answering this one in particular question that has been eating away at me for my whole life. My entire life, this three-worded question has haunted me. Are you gay? My answer to that question is, I am bisexual. I like some girls and I like some guys. I like certain people. I don't like all guys and or, or all girls. I like who I like. It just happens that I like people of the same sex and the opposite sex. Since I was a little kid, I was always told to be myself and people like me for who I am. I never listened to those words my mom and dad told me to live by, is which was to be myself. And that was probably one of my biggest mistakes till now. Growing up, I went to a Roman Catholic school where, if you're not familiar, a lot of people in that religion feel like you're going to hell if you like the opposite sex, which really hurt me when I was younger. In school and in life, I was always told, you're gay because your voice is high, you walk funny, you like to dress nice, you like to fix your hair, and all because of that, people would always call me gay. And I never understood why those things would consider me being gay, but people always assumed that was why. And it always really made me feel insecure about myself and really hate myself for a long time. Whenever people would say that to me, I would always defend myself and deny it because I was always afraid of what people thought of me. Making friends in high school was very difficult. I started making videos on the internet in high school and people would call me gay or a faggot because I did that. Not only would they just say it to my face, but they would comment it on my Instagram. They would also comment it in my direct messages on Instagram. They would comment it on my YouTube videos. Not only that, but the most hurtful thing that people were actually doing was this. Hey man. Um, I saw your YouTube videos and I just wanted to say that you were, you were looking for suggestions and I thought that a coming out video would be good. <laughs> People would spit at me, call me a faggot, and then tell me to kill myself. People would also try to hit me with their car, which was absurd. And not only that, even crazier things that have happened even this year that were, I just don't feel comfortable talking about that it's just insane people would do that to someone. However, now that I'm 19 and it's 2018, guys, it's 2018, like that's crazy. But at this point in my life, I am tired of hiding my truth. I'm ready to live my true life and not to be ashamed of who I am. The last thing I would ever want is for any of you guys to hate me because I really do love each and every one of you guys. Every one of you, trust me. Honestly, the hardest, one of the hardest things I've had to do in my life was tell my dad that I was bi. I thought that I was gonna break his heart. I thought that I was gonna crush his entire hopes and dreams of me. That I was gonna let him down because of who I am. But he told me he would love me no matter what. And no matter what I did. And it really made me feel better about who I am. And by the time this video is out, I would have told, hopefully have told my, one of my best friends who's like a brother to me and his mom, because his mom is like a second mom to me, one of many, but it really hurt me if they had to learn it from here and not just from me, because even though I don't talk to them as much, I still love them. They're like a fa my second family. So, I'm scared out of my mind to go tell them. But, you know, sometimes we gotta conquer our fears. I wanted to make this video because I felt like some people could relate to how I was feeling and some of the things I've been through. If you do anything after this video, please do one thing. Please be your true self. Don't change for anyone. Be yourself because you're the only one that's going to be with you in the end. They're not going to be. 
People come and they go, but you stay forever. And I mean forever. Why dwell on people that may or may not be in your life forever when you're the one that's actually living your life? Don't let anyone hold you back. And if they hold you back, there's no point in having them in your life because that's what they will always do is hold you back. I love you guys so much and I hope the world for all of you guys. Thank you for sitting through this whole video, which honestly I was very worried about making and I contemplated not even making. But thank you guys. I hope this video made us get closer. <sighs> so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know on my big secret, a lot of people always like, you can't keep secrets, James. Well, bitch, yes I did. <laughs> I had kept a big secret and now you guys know, so I guess it's not a secret anymore. If you are my friends and I did not tell you, I apologize and I probably will tell you or talk to you very soon. Um, I'm sorry if you had to find out in this way, but I do love each and every one of you. And I hope that doesn't change what I just said to, for anyone about how you think of me. Because I'm still the same James as I always have been and always will be. All right guys, peace out. Love you guys, be safe. Peace.